What's up guys? This is Zach from Zach's Hockey Box and today first off I want to say happy Canada Day to our fellow neighbors to the north. Obviously I'm wearing my Team Canada t-shirt slash jersey and Team Canada hat. So uh, we're here today to do our d one day after release video because I'm um, fortunate to get everything a day after for Ingrained. So this is the first time opening Ingrained on the channel. Uh, kind of excited. I've been watching a lot of breaks the last day or so just to kind of get an idea of what could possibly come out in this. And yeah, I'm kind of excited to see what we can get. So we got that and we're going to open up a couple of packs of SP Authentic. So the local card shop I went to had a whole box pretty much uh, missing a pack. So I bought five. Figured we'll open that with this too considering there's only one pack in there. Um, also, on top of all this, with the ingrained, we got a pack of ice because uh, if you get the order over two hundred dollars, it's free shipping. Since the pack was like five dollars under, we just got a pack of ice, and we pulled this beautiful, exquisite uh, rookies of Nick Suzuki. So I opened it off camera because I wanted to open something this morning when I got my package before I got everything set and ready to film, and we pulled this awesome Nick Suzuki. It's number ninety-two out of three ninety-nine. Uh, really cool card. I do like these. Uh, really like these cards and kind of a segue because I was in a hockey card break so I've been doing a couple of breaks online just kind of get a feel of what that's about so I can kind of talk about it in this video hopefully and the last break I watched the uh beer the, the breaker that we watched had pulled four Nick Suzuki cards out of ice so I got an auto the one guy who had Montreal had it was a random teams I think or no it was a buy-in it was a buy pick your team and the guy who picked Montreal had, uh, it was an autographed Nick Suzuki, a Ice Premier's number to 99, uh, a jumbo patch, and another Suzuki. I think it was another uh, exquisite rookie or something like that. It was something ridiculous, like four Nick Suzuki cards in the one case. It was just ridiculous. But on that note, breaks. Uh, first, we're going to show off this card here. And I'll probably have another card somewhere like right around here. Maybe once I move this card, I'll put it up. But we also hit a Chris Chelios and a Kirby Doc autograph out of SP Authentic for one of the breaks. And uh, breaks are pretty cool. We've been going with uh, Beer League Breaks is the guy we've been using a lot. Uh, I've done about five or six breaks with him now. He's really good. He's really enthusiastic and energetic. Really fun. I did uh, one with David Adams Card Shop as well, which is a good place where I buy a lot of my cards. It, was, it wasn't bad. They weren't as, like, it was. you could tell it was business where it just crack packs, show you the cards, move on. All that stuff. Beer League, I do like Beer League Breaks. It's really nice. It's where I got these cards from. But yeah, all in all, Breaks, I've been my my consensus real quick on that. While we get into the first pack, I'll start opening cards. Because you guys don't want to just sit here and hear me rant. Uh, we'll get into SP Authentic first. Then we'll open up the ingrained. Um, my take on Breaks is do it for expensive sets or sets you, like you collect a certain team. And you want some of the cards from the set, but you don't want to spend the money. That's how I would obviously suggest you do it. So, like SP Authentic, I know Ingrained, he has a couple of Ingrained ones coming up. Premier, the Cup, all those. Those are the ones I would recommend if you guys are going to jump into any breaks, try and do those. And I personally like Random Team, uh, where they just literally take 31 people, they randomize you, they randomize the teams, and you just get assigned a team. I like that the best. I don't like to pick your team because you have to spend a lot more, I feel. Um, cause like if I want to do Vancouver and pick your team, it's like $85, but if you do just $30 buy-in for some of this stuff, you might get lucky and get one of those teams. So it's just fun, more fun that way. I think just do random, unless you really collect only one team, I collect a little bit of everything. So that's why I do it. But yeah, uh, definitely would recommend doing breaks and buy-ins and those kind of things. If you guys are looking to just get a couple cards from expensive sets like ice, I didn't do a lot of ice. So I did a lot of buy-ins to ice just to kind of get some of the cards for it and kind of get an idea of what it's all about. And our first hit is a Ryan O'Reilly Spectrum FX. Yeah, anyways, that's enough of me ranting. I'm just gonna, we're gonna go ahead and get into the opening these cards. Yeah, uh, definitely excited about, I know uh, Stature is the next set after this ingrained that is coming out, which I'm kind of excited about. It's a new set that uh, they are releasing this year. So, Definitely going to be opening one of those, just kind of get a feel what that's about. Oh, Philip Zadina. Future Watch Spectrum FX Level 3. That's beautiful. I like that. It's definitely a PC card right there. Now, this is this is a fat boy here. Uh, let's see if it's a fake. It looks like it is. It looks like it's just a decoy. Uh, he just grabbed five packs on the one side and 
Called it good. Oh, we got we got an autograph though. We did get an auto. I'm trying not to reveal the auto to myself before I get to show it to you guys. There we go. Joe Pavelski, Roman Yossi, Henrik Lundqvist, PK Subban, and it's a sign of the times. Dylan Strom, sign of the times. So our second sign of the times Blackhawks card from the set, because obviously we had this from the beer league breaks. But yeah, okay, I'll take that. Dylan Strom. The Brink and Strom, nice line mates there. It's kind of a fun pair to have together for this set. So I will take that. Not bad for five packs. I'll take I'll take an autograph out of five packs. I'll get into this. We got one more after this after this pack, and then we'll get into that in grand, which I'm very excited about. Again, I've been watching a lot of uh oh, we got another autograph. We got two of the three autographs out of the set, guys. Braden Shin, Nathan McKinnon, Anthony Mantha. I'm getting Malkin. It's a future watch auto. And uh, S2 Lusterinen. Lusterinen? I know I'm saying that wrong, but yeah. Okay, I don't have his autograph. I will take that. Just love that squiggle. That autograph is fun. <laughs> it's just a big squiggle. Uh, it's numbered 730 out of 999. I'll take that two out of two of the three autographs out of the box. Yeah, I will take that. And it did, he did pull all the packs from the left side of the box. Yeah, left side of the box. So I've heard people say that a lot of the autographs are geared towards the left side of the SP Authentics. Kind of a case in point right there because we got two of the three right there. Beautiful. Hopefully that signs uh, something good coming out of that in grain, right? Jasper Kakanyemi, Jacob Slavin, Pierre Luc Dubois. Dougie Hamilton, and Authentic Moments of Steven Stamkos. I don't remember if I pulled that one or not. Either way, I like them. I like the Authentic Moments. No matter what. Okay. Enough of everything else, though, guys. Let's go ahead and clear, make some room here, get everything set up. Handy dandy knife to get this box of ingrained open. And let's see what we can get in here, guys. Um, I did see one of the breaks I watched yesterday. They have Gordy Howe autographs in this set. I was very surprised when Paul was like, how? So I guess they've been just saving Gordy Howe autograph stickers for a while since he's no longer with us. He has passed. I was super surprised. I'm like, I didn't know that they would have, yeah. A lot of weird pulls, really awesome stuff. Um, I also saw in the one opening where they have like cards that are like packs of, uh, or like they look like the trophy things. I'm like, kind of like you see back here, the, the heart trophy and all that stuff and the Art Ross. They have actual, like, symbols for the players that actually wanted, like, the little, like, emblem that would be on the trophy. They had, like, makeshift ones. And they had one, and the emblem was actually coming off the card. <laughs> so the guy had to, like, try and stick it back on there. But yeah, it was just, yeah, some... I heard that last year's was a little bit of quality control problems with it. Um, so I'm hoping... I haven't seen anything majorly wrong with it this year. At least from all the boxes I've watched get open so far. But, uh, yeah. All in all, let's go ahead and get on into this. I guess I should probably cover this all myself so I don't get surprised so our first card is a Sidney Crosby number 279 273 out of 299 right there yeah I do like it it's almost like a yeah it's, it's, it's a different feel to the cards it's interesting I do like that and the base cards are all numbered too, to 299 so every base card is numbered as well which is kind of interesting they have the manufactured stick cards, which are kind of cool. I've seen a lot of those. I'm hoping we can get one of the, which I think is our next card. Kind of saw it a little bit. Don't know who it is. I just saw that it was one of those manufactured card autographs, which was, or stick autograph cards, which is really cool. Ilya Mikheyev, uh, rookie out of, two, it's 281 out of 299 for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Very nice. Yeah, this is the manufactured one, which did we get? Oh, oh. It's New Jersey Devils. It's not Jack Hughes. It's Jasper Boquist. But yeah, these cards are really cool. Like, it's a manufactured stick piece in there that he's autographed. It's really cool looking. Those are really cool. I will say that. I will give them 100, 100 props for that. Number 225 out of 249 for these. Just the back. You have received a trading card with a manufactured carbon fiber hockey stick insert. So yeah, those are really cool looking. We got a rookie autograph of Zach Sension. And these are not numbered. 
Oh, it's his hair. Sorry, I saw that little thing on top of his forehead. It's his hair. <laughs> I thought it was a dent or something in the card. But yeah, Zach Sunshin autograph. Ooh, that's that's beautiful. An Alex Ovechkin remnants uh, card. Sorry, I'm trying to yeah. Beautiful card, number eight out of one hundred. So I think this is actually a piece of his stick. If I you received a trading card with Alex Ovechkin game used hockey memorabilia. So it is actual actual. It's an actual. I can't speak. Sorry, an actual Alex Ovechkin game you stick in this card it's one out of a hundred that is a beautiful card right there that is that is a very nice card to pull <laughs> well we got another one <laughs> it's a red wing jonathan erickson remnants it looks like it's like a different oh it's definitely lower numbered but jonathan erickson numbered 17 out of 65 and it's a remnant, so it's, yeah, another piece of his stick. Game use, hockey memorabilia. Unfortunately, if you guys have watched the channel, I think I've mentioned it. It may not have. I'm not a humongous fan of Jonathan Erickson. I think he's a horribly overrated defenseman. I have not liked him for years. Kind of glad that he was sent down to the minors off this year. But it's still a really cool card to pull, especially at not, only 65. It's weird that Ovechkin has 100 of them, but Jonathan Erickson is only up to 65. That's interesting. All right. And I think this is our last card, guys, which I think is usually just... Oh, it's a beautiful card. I'm going to... I love it. PC card here. Mitch Marner, number 28 out of 49. I guess this is a... What are these ones called? I'm blanking on the names of the types of cards because I know they have, like, certain names for the colorings of the card. But, yeah, beautiful low-numbered Mitch Marner card. Right there. I will take that. So, yeah, guys, we had a great opening. So, we got, what, how many autographs? We've got... Four autographs on this break, two from this box, two pieces of stick, and then you get just a beautiful Mitch Marner numbered card. But yeah, let's go through all these. Sorry. I still can't get over the Ovechkin, which is a beautiful card. Mitch Marner, number to 49. We got Zach Senshin. Senshin, sorry, I can't speak, of uh, autograph there for Boston. The Ilya Mikheyev, number 299. Uh, 299, should I say. The Sid the Kid, out of two ninety nine. This beautiful Jasper Boquist autograph on the carbon fiber stick. Obviously the Jonathan Erickson game used stick on there, which is really cool looking. And this is probably the hit of the of the opening, the Alex Ovechkin stick card, which is a beautiful card, only out of a hundred. So we got two stick cards in one box. That's not bad. I will, I will take that. And then we'll go through these ones over here real quick from the SP Authentics. We got the Authentic Moments, the S2 Lesteron, Future Watch Auto, Side of the Times, Dylan Strom Auto, Philips Xena Level 3, Future Watch Spectrum FX, and then the Spectrum FX of Ryan O'Reilly. So, yeah, all in all, that is the box of ingrained, guys. Let me know in the comments below. Will you guys be picking up some of this uh, ingrained? I know a lot of it's a very controversial set a uh, few people i know or at least in the break rooms i've been in have are not looking forward to the set and then some people are so i mean it looks pretty cool especially when you get those game you sticks and stuff like that that's really awesome i actually have a game you stick of thomas holstrom that's autographed from uh one of the playoff games but yeah it, the game you stuff is some of the stuff i like the most so i do like this set to an extent it seems like their quality control on this set is much better than it especially wasn't SP Authentic. SP Authentic this year had really bad quality control. But yeah, all in all, I like it. It's not bad. And for $200, it's it's not bad. It's it's I guess it's not bad. It's a borderline. If you're going to buy a really high-end product, I would go with, yeah. Ingrained isn't bad, at least from what I've seen here, which is really nice. Or if you get, um again, Premiere, which I'm looking forward to Premiere when it comes out this year. I'm super excited. But yeah. Let me know definitely in the comments below, though, what you think. I like it. Let me know what you guys think if you like it. If you don't, let me know. I, I'm more than happy to hear why you guys don't like the set. But yeah, all in all, this has been Zach from Zach's Hockey Box. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and uh, Facebook, as always. And don't forget to enter our contest. Our contest, Zach's Hockey Box, which in this box we have now added. I made up a new one that we're going to uh, throw in here, it's, uh, a new set of 15. It has a numbered... Kill McCarr card on it. So if you go to our Instagram page, 
Um, you can see the three cards I was deciding between, and we decide with the numbered, low numbered Kale Makar rookie card. So, from Artifacts. So that is in this container that I'm holding right here, which I will tape up and put it in the pile. And once the contest goes, we'll grab five of them, and that's what we'll do. But yeah, definitely don't forget to enter. The link is in the description below. Follow the directions in that video, and you guys can be entered to win one of the five lots and possibly a low numbered Kale Makar rookie card. But yeah, anyways, this is Zach from Zach's Hockey Box. Thank you so much again for watching, guys, and we will open for you guys again very soon.